Hi, this is Neil from Link. Thanks very much for joining me for this short video where I'm going to be running through the sketches that I refer to in the white paper, ensuring project success. If you've read that content, you'll appreciate that I believe the process for generating business cases inside an organization is fundamentally broken, primarily because the tools that we have access to are inappropriate and they cause time delays, they cause risk, and a lot of frustration for the people involved. In the white paper at the end of the document, I uh, provide you with some links to the viewers for these sketches. I just thought it would be useful to run through them for you so that you can understand what they're telling us and you can hopefully see how you might be able to apply this inside your organization. Okay, let's get into it. The first sketch is the current state for the contractor exception billing process that's been modelled for this client. Uh, things that we should note really about the sketch are the amount of paper that's involved, so the forms that are passed around the organisation are all paper based. All of the actions have a person associated with them so we can see that everything is manual. We're beginning to see the cost of actions and the cost of creating the information outputs that are needed inside this organisation. This process continues where contractors are used in error correction, and this is where the bulk of the cost is incurred. This organization is effectively outsourcing a lot of the corrections that are needed through this process, and uh, they're paying for that, obviously. So the sketch um, shows us a lot of that, and uh, what I am suggesting that you do inside the viewer is hop into the dashboards and just um, see how Link starts to portray this information to you. So here we have the total cost of the processes that are being modeled inside this sketch. Uh, these come from the cost of people doing actions. So $926,000 a year is the cost of this process. We can see the people who are involved uh, in, in the work that's been done inside this sketch. So from the drop down in the people dashboard, we can see people that we've captured uh, so we might go and take a look at the compliance contractor and see that um, they're costing us $18,000. Here are the actions that they perform. They're doing QA. Uh, this is a sketch that focuses around the compliance contractor and everything they do. And we can see we've captured 332 hours of their time. We might then jump through to the system summary insight. And this puts system in the middle of what we're looking at. We'll just expand this slightly. So here we can see we've got zero automation inside this organization. The two systems involved are email and the finance system. That's the system that ultimately pays uh, the contractor at the end of the process. Um, and we might go and have a look at the impact of email on the whole of the information flow. So 85.7% of this uh, supply chain relies on the fact that email is uh, the holder of, of the initial source content. So a highly manual um, and expensive process, which we can see in the cost allocation summary. So this tells us the completed form is costing us $874,000 a year. So this is our current state. And now we understand the processes that take place, the people who are involved, the information that's required to enable that ultimate outcome, that I have a, a form that is correct, that's valid for the organization. I can look at ways of being able to remove those challenges from the business, so remove that information waste. And in this case, ideally, we want to get rid of the paper. So if we take a look at the future state sketch, modelled in exactly the same way, so we're just thinking about information, action, system and people and the connectivity between those. And in this uh, future state scenario, and remember, this may be just one scenario, we could have many future state models stacked together. We're looking at implementing a piece of technology called forms, which will remove the paper from the flow. Uh, so rather than having lots of, um, of content uh, manually being walked around the organization, we're interacting with what is, has effectively become a system of record. We still have people performing their actions, doing their QA, uh, but they're all inside this piece of technology. The, the paper um, icons for information have gone and the costs you can see here have, have reduced dramatically. So again, if we go back into the balance scorecard view, we're able to see that costs are down from just uh, over $900,000 to just under $300,000 a year. And the other dashboards also uh, show the outcome of this change. So our systems have changed. Uh, so the system summary, 
will show us we now have some automation because we've got uh, the system that's actually enabling notifications for us automatically. Um, and we can now see that uh, from the, the perspective of systems impacting the, the flow of information, forms becomes critical here. And so we can, we can um, have some assurance that implementing this technology inside this organization is going to have an impact. And that does flow through to cost allocation. So here we can see the corrected form is only costing us $281,000 a year. If we flick back to the current state, and that was $874,000. So we've removed uh, a significant amount of money, um, nearly, nearly um, $600,000 of operating cost annually from the business through this process. But of course, that's uh, only two thirds of the story. We have a current state, we have one or more future states. We're looking at these scenarios. Uh, we have to move from current state to future state. And in order to do that, we need to do an implementation. So we have a, a generic um, implementation sketch that we can use. This takes a program management approach to the delivery of uh, the change. And so if we just head up to the top of this sketch, we can look at the outcomes. We're able to think about the total hardware costs involved in delivering this, uh, which may or may not mean on-premise. It could include the cloud implementation if your uh, solution was hosted. The, um, any build and test that needs to be done. So if we're actually developing solutions here, we would be able to incorporate those costs. Um, we've got ongoing operations and maintenance. Uh, we have got um, support for the application. We have change management as a process. We've got resources that we need to apply to the change program. Uh, and up here we have training. So we can come into these um, actions. We can uh, add the costs of people involved in these processes in order to build out a cost of the implementation. Well, that's the, the third part of being able to generate the business case. If we have the operating cost today, we have our expected operating cost tomorrow, and we know the cost of implementing the change, we effectively are able to now extract all of the content that we need to drive return on investment numbers and also total cost of ownership over the course of uh, the, the lifespan of the technology or the, the project or the, the deliverable for the organization. And that, that was a simple um, example, but Link is, is scalable, so we can get significantly bigger. So just to show you, here is a, another current state sketch. We won't run through it fully. Um, this is a, a utility, and this is about um, them QAing the design for their as-built infrastructure projects. And we'll just flick to the uh, system summary and then the cost allocation summary so we can look at these. So where we have more systems in play, we're able to see the, the value of those against the outcomes that they support. Um, there's zero automation as in the way that this organization runs today. Uh, we can see the systems that they rely on, our asset management system, the mail server, a printer, um, even into office delivery. So there's a lot of paper that is involved in um, making this part of the organization work. And uh, we have begun to identify the opportunity to change this and to decrease the number of manual steps that happen inside the business. So we can again jump to a future state that we've modeled. We can do the same thing. We'll jump to system summary. And here we'll see uh, a difference in the number of systems, but immediately you can see automation has increased to 45%. Um, so we have a number of, of actions now which are being undertaken automatically by systems. This is a good reflection of the, the maturity in terms of digitalization inside an organization. Systems of record, still the asset management system, um, but there's a work management system that's come in here and also um, a, a, an intelligent geographical information system managing the spatial data as it moves around the organization. From a cost perspective, inside this um, uh, future state, one of the key things just to note here is uh, there's still a need to produce paper maps. The cost here is um, $50,000 a year. But if we jump back to our current state and look at cost allocation, you'll see that the production of printed maps was $1.98 million a year um, outsourced to an organization to do this. You know, significant cost inside the business. So to see this drop from $1.98 million to about $50,000 is obviously um, a very uh, intriguing prospect for this client. And we'll be using the cost of implementation sketch to build the return on investment. So I hope that helps. Um, the first two sketches we looked at are referenced inside the white paper. Please do jump in, use the link viewer 
to explore this for yourself. And if you have any questions, uh, of course, jump onto our website. But thanks very much for listening. I hope that's been useful and we look forward to hearing from you soon.